Day three of our New York Gadget Tour started as any New York morning should start with coffee. But this being the Gadget Show, we're talking testing a whole lot more than a skinny mocha chocolate with an extra slim shot. Now, Jace, I've got a surprise to show you. Come here. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Look at this. Oh, yes! That's fantastic! They are three home coffee machines. They use the latest trend in home coffee, which is pod technology. But we're in New York! We are, we definitely are. And New Yorkers are the best people to test coffee on. So I love it! Let's go and find people in the streets of Manhattan. We're taking this on the street? Oh, yeah. Let's go! So, with our coffee machines wired up to three rather noisy generators, we headed off to find some New Yorkers looking for a morning caffeine hit. Are you ready for this, dude? Yeah. OK, ready. All these machines make coffee using no-fuss pods and capsules. They force hot water through the coffee blend to make an espresso shot. Good. That is working for you, right? I can see it in your face, man. We knew that the New Yorkers themselves were really going to make this oh, mess. Absolutely, because yeah. they're known for being really big characters, you know, really outspoken, loads of confidence. Guy that founded Google, is that you? Would you like a coffee? That is until we met Richard. We're testing coffee machines. Uh -huh. I want to give you an espresso from each machine, see what you think is the best. OK. Love your work, baby. Chest five, like we do in the UK. Right, yeah. come on over. Is that what you do in the UK? Not really, but, you know, it's fun. Let's do it. First up, the Krups Dolce Gusto Circulo. This uses 18 different flavours of pods and has won awards for its style. But does it make a decent coffee? Richard? What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Next up, the DeLonghi Latisma Plus. This is the only one that uses real milk and comes with 16 types of coffee capsules. Richard? Yeah, this is even better. Last under scrutiny, the Tassimo T65 by Bosch. Offering 12 varieties of coffee, this machine has the largest water tank at 1.8 litres. But immediately, we hit a problem. A warning light came on. Hang on, is that, is that like a, a fault message? See user manual. So I made a call to Bosch UK. Your machine is um, malfunctioning. We've got two simultaneous flashing lights. What do I do? Polly, listen. Make sure there's enough water. There's loads. There's loads. And that meant we were destined to never hear Richard wax lyrical about the Bosch. Richard, I can't give you a third cup of coffee because the machine is broken. The Bosch has actually broken down. But yeah. out of the two that you tested, which one? Uh, the DeLonghi, yeah. So after Richard's passionate endorsement of the DeLonghi, we said goodbye and headed off with just two working machines. So try that one, tell us what you think to that one. You're Lady Gaga's grandmother. grandmother yeah. Are you going to have coffee? OK. Let's go have coffee. Hey, dude, do you want free coffee? What do you think? Fine. It's fine. Thank you, man. Love your work, baby. Free coffee, my good man. Espresso, yeah? Enjoy it, man. You like that? Yeah. Oh, it's the coffee! The long, you know, this. I'm not going to say it, I'm going to leave it to you. This one ain't mine. Almost every single one of them, bar maybe two people, went for the DeLonghi Nespresso. What do you think of the flavour? Very good. Excellent. Very, Very good. good. Which is the best one? DeLonghi, right? There was a clear winner. God bless America. There really was no competition. The, the people of New York, the coffee drinkers of New York, were virtually unanimous. And so it's on to the G ratings. Unfortunately, the Bosch Tassimo gets zero Gs because, well, it never actually worked for us. However, the Dolce Gusto Circulo earns a respectable three Gs thanks to its attractive design and decent, if not spectacular, coffee. But the DeLonghi La Tassima Plus earns a full five Gs thanks to a faultless performance and equally faultless taste.